Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your subscribes, your shares, your energy, sharing your story. Thank you for helping me. You're co-creating this with me. And I really appreciate you guys. Okay. I wanted to talk to you guys about something about the 5G and, and the microwaves and the radiation in the air. Gina Marie Colvin Hill did a video yesterday talking about there's something going on, people's hair is falling out. And the comments were flooding saying, yes, oh my God, my hair, I lost half of my hair in the past year. Um, have you guys been experiencing this? Because if you have, it's not magic. These people doing these stupid um, just to add water shit, that, they don't have the power to do that shit to you guys, okay? Uh, they would need your actual hair to even do it, and, and they don't have to, I, I just won't give it to them. It's deeper than this, you guys. It, it's, this is their biggest weapon against us, is the shit that we can't see, and this is going against our free will because we didn't okay it, but they kind of did because it's funny how they manipulate it because when you guys want 5G and you're like, I need my faster internet, right? Uh, now, everybody wants everything faster. This is, this is how we were programmed, right? We want fast food, we want fast internet, everything right now. Patience has just completely gone out the door with a lot of people. And this is how they want it. I gotta get the next thing. I, I well, You just got this phone, but I gotta get the next one. It's like con constantly feeling the need to keep up and move forward and not just sit still and be. Not being able to wait for things. And that makes us uh, selfish and it makes us childlike and it makes us arrogant and ignorant, right? I'm going to put a playlist I listen to at least twice a day here. I listen to it in the morning and then before I go to sleep. And, and this playlist, these videos from Dr. Virtual 7, because him and Sapien Medicine are one of the, the two of the ones I trust. Uh, I'm going to put this playlist. It's got a 5G shielding. It's got a, a, a radiation microwave, microwave shielding. And it shields you for like hours. Uh, heavy metal chemtrail detox a jab detox and I'm not talking about this one I'm talking about any jabs you've ever gotten in your life even as a child they put things in there that you guys don't know about implants microchip implants okay uh, read the description box of dr. virtual sevens jab detox okay then there's one underneath it for uh, cellular regeneration your cellular makeup all right because they attack our, our, our cells and our DNA with this shit please take this seriously you guys okay because this is what, what's making a lot of people sick if you don't feel well. It doesn't matter if you're outside or inside though, okay? And if you guys, if it's cold out and you guys can't get outside and, and you miss the sun, then go to Sapien Medicine's Sun Gazer video. Just type in Sapien Medicine Sun Gazer. It's the same effect. Talk is cheap when the story is good. Okay, Archangel Michael, please protect me and those listening with your light will obviously this message. Thank you so much for waking us up today, God. Another day, another shot, another miracle, another blessing, another lesson, right? You take it on the run, baby. Somebody don't, you don't want somebody around anymore? They feel this way about you? What's going on here? Destroyer. Releasing what is potentially destructive, preparing for a new life. See what this is here. White lies. Somebody's thinking about all the lies that they told and all the destruction they've caused, first of all. What is this destroyer, please? Somebody trying to destroy your relationship, or somebody did somebody destroyed a completely good partnership here. This could be friendship. Uh, that somebody really needs desperately right now because they turned their back on just a good divine being. This could, whatever this is, you know who this is, yeah. Somebody didn't want you around, so you're like, all right, cool, I'm out. You know what I mean? And now somebody's wishing, that they, you know, this is pride and ego. It's a motherfucker, isn't it? It's a motherfucker. Shoot. All right. Somebody also doesn't believe you. So if you told somebody, I don't want nothing to do with you anymore, I feel like this is the kind of person who's like, yeah, they don't mean it. They'll be back. They'll call me. They'll text me. I feel like for a lot of you, this didn't happen. Somebody's realized they destroyed a perfectly good divine partnership here. Who is this? Who is this, please? Who is this, please? Who is this? Queen of Cups. Water sign. 
with a comment and somebody who said that I seem to have it for out for water signs. I can't help what comes out, dear. Okay? What's uh and you know what? Maybe I do. And if I do, then I'll work on that. And I that that's for me to work on, okay? Okay. That was oh, what are all these cards? Look, there's another water sign card, right? Like Scorpio tower card, right? I can't help, like, whatever happens just happens during my readings, dear. Okay. And I don't want you around. This could also be divine feminine energy here, loving, a very loving energy. Somebody, somebody destroyed a partnership. Uh, possibly, if you're a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, and this resonates with you, somebody destroyed a perfectly good relationship or friendship with you. <sighs> Wow. All right. And I feel like you, if this is you, like you don't, you don't want, you don't need it. I don't believe you. I don't believe, I don't feel like you believe anything this person says. Oh, there's more water. Ah, I can't help that the shit comes out this way, darling. Scorpio energy. Somebody, somebody. Uh, so it's either you're this person because it's going to resonate on both sides. Obviously, we're all adults here. That's all I want here. And if you're immature and you're you nitpick, get the fuck off my channel, okay? Kindly. Somebody destroyed a perfectly either good relationship with you, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, okay? For another Scorpio, or somebody destroyed a relationship with you for a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that only brought tower moments into their life. You know where this fits. But there's heavy water here. Two of cups, queen of cups, and the tower. That's water. Any way you want to slice it, darling. Okay? So now, you put it how it fits. You're either this queen of cups, or this is the queen of cups where somebody ruined shit uh, for somebody that just completely destroyed somebody's life. Here comes the rain again. Falling on my head. Yeah. Somebody's like, I, I did what? For what? I, I actually just, yo, know, I, I, I got rid of that? Her for this? Wow. Want to dive into your ocean? <laughs> Nobody wants to dive in your ocean, divine feminine. Ooh. <laughs> it's like, bitch, you better come in here with some swimmies on, some sunscreen protection. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever protection that is. Okay, okay. Now, let me clarify this King of Wands here. Somebody could have also just ruined the whole relationship with you for one night of passion with somebody else here in the past. Somebody trying to destroy somebody's uh, divine partnership here too. There's also a Queen of Cups here who tries to ca tried to cause a tower moment uh, if, for a fire sign here in the past. I feel like this 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 female, if this this queen of cups that wants to cause a tower here for a for a, a fire sign here, um, maybe maybe this person maybe this person this fire sign was cheated on in the past, and this fire sign masculine energy had a hard time trusting females, um, maybe because this person was destroyed in relationships or they had destructive relationships in the past that maybe it was difficult for you guys to actually get together and have a, a relationship like you should have too is what I'm also seeing here. Talk to me like lovers do. So I feel like if that was the case and you guys both had really toxic relationships and now you guys are together and you're in this loving energy and you show love uh, during tower moments, which like if this if this fire sign or whoever this is that loves you and is looking at you like this, okay? This person, this dude is looking through the tower moment at this queen of cups. So I feel like this person doesn't see anything else that's going on, you guys. It's like this person is just focused on you and that's it. Maybe in the past they were. Maybe in the past tower moments. See how it's in between these two people here? I feel like maybe in the past, okay, This you guys may have let other people's bullshit and problems to ca cause a divide, like a split between the two of us. And I feel like people, other people have done this. I don't even think that destroyers here were you guys. I think it was friends, family, uh, people who weren't happy in their relationships and marriages. And so, you know, you know how people are. Misery loves company. It's it's just a shame. How dare you be happy and, 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 and I'm not happy. How dare you have a man or a woman that doesn't cheat on you or you know, that doesn't go to the bar every single night. How dare you? And then they want to destroy yours. All right. 
Here comes the rain. Some of you are like, damn, it's raining again. Some of you, it's snow. Maybe childish energy. Uh, I feel like in the past, this, this possible uh, fire sign here could have been very immature. Maybe they didn't have a loving relationship. They didn't have, they weren't responsible enough, I just heard. They weren't grown up enough. And I feel like they've been hurt a lot because they had just a, like immature relationships. Like maybe they met and they slept with the person for the first time they met. Or they said, I love you. And they really didn't. And, and then there's a lot of emotion. I feel like this person could be very sensitive with their feelings. And they get hurt really easily. And they bring they bring this past shit from relationships into other shit. And I feel like you set this one straight. I feel like you offer genuine love to this person. Whether you're with them now or this is something that you know you're separated from somebody. But I feel like... Somebody may want to offer an apology here for something that happened in the past for some of you. Possibly a fire sign. And, and maybe it's because, well, I feel like a lot of you are like, damn, like, I'm successful by myself. I'm happy by myself. Like, you're a very confident person, and I feel like this person sees this now. Somebody's also watching your success. They're watching you become a better person. They're watching you rise from the ashes. They, they see people like you. People are attracted to you. It doesn't even have to be men or the opposite sex. People just are attracted to your energy. There's something about you. Somebody's name could begin with a V here. Mr. and Mrs. Green. So some of you are a power couple. I just heard Mr. and Mrs. Green. So unless your last name is Green, but I feel like you guys are a power couple. And this is why this, this tap. So that would make sense. That this tower moment is in between this, this and you are obviously soul, soulmates, twins, whatever you want to call it. I feel like in the past, like there was a lot of immature people coming in between. And this person may have not been able to stand up and say, no, I love this person. I love this woman or I love this man. This person didn't have that. I feel like they're doing this now. I feel like somebody also knows that you're good with or without them. With or without you. Uh -huh. I feel like somebody knows that and they're seeing your confidence. They're seeing your confidence, and I feel like it's making this person more attracted to you. Someone's like, well, damn, this person doesn't really need me. You know how you know how attractive that is when you see a woman who knows their worth, and they're not reliant on a man's energy or love or anything like that, and they're like, bitch, I can do this by myself. It would be nice to have you with me, but I don't need it. It's not You're not the end-all, be-all. This is what we're doing as women right now, and even men who are in this energy of just, I don't need somebody to complete me. I complete me first. I do. Yeah, somebody's seeing here, and this came out. Somebody's seeing in here that you believe in yourself. You're confident. You know where you're going. You know your worth. You know where you've been. That's why you know where you're going, right? You know, they say, how could you know where you're going if you didn't even know where you've been? But love makes us do crazy things, I just heard. So whatever this was, uh, love makes us do crazy things, right? Look at that. Why is this here? There could be a Virgo here. If you're a Virgo and you're you're just in that energy of like nothing can stop me, right? There's a masculine energy who's uh, really sad that something you ended something possibly with an Aries here, and I feel like this person feels like why I can't believe yeah they feel like a fool. Why did I let this one go? Because this is how shit goes, you know. God will send you into somebody's life like a. Uh, that like you'll just look like a piece of coal but when you chip away at all that you know and you keep chipping and every time you work on yourself and you level up and you overcome more obstacles and then you see how amazing of a person you are you keep someone's name could be Jim you, you keep chipping away at it to find that there's actually a fucking diamond under there yes there is and I feel like somebody's pissed off uh, at themselves I hope that they didn't see this diamond in you this is that superficial shit we keep talking about. It was just 1414 here. Watch your language, I just heard. Okay. Sorry, spirit guides. Yeah, I, but I feel like if this is a Pisces or an Aries here, we keep getting this distorted masculine energy in here that feels betrayed. Why? Because because somebody else... So if there's a person, a distorted masculine you guys dealt with, and they were like, no, I don't want them, and they tried to tell other people that you were like nothing or that you were uh, easy or that, oh, oh, they're struggling, they don't have money, right? I feel like this person thought that you were like maybe you turned this person down all right for a lot of you you just like wanted to offer friendship to somebody and they didn't want that so they tried to smear your name and slander you right 
And then somebody else was like, well, damn. Hi ho, hi ho, motherfucker. I'll come in and do it. And now this person's like, damn, I can't believe that this whoever you are is by isn't by themselves and stressed out and having sleepless nights and they're not blowing up my phone and texting me and, and begging me to come back or even if it's a friend like they don't want nothing to do with me it's because like yeah you're too high ranked clarify this moon card please you could be dealing with an aries or a pisces or a scorpio here or a virgo okay or you are this what's this moon card Look at this. The moon card and the sun. Leo here now. So somebody also could, could feel like a little, some kind of way because there's a masculine energy here who was in dark energy and now is in light energy. And it probably has something to do with you. Divine feminine. Divine masculine. I feel like somebody here was like uh, completely did a 180 and it's because of your energy. I told you divine beings can do this to people we, we make miracles we can change people we can flip them we can change their perception their view on life themselves yeah we it's part of the healing you guys right it's always sunny i just heard i feel like you're you're always happy no matter what you're going through divine feminine divine masculine i feel like when somebody sees that and they admire that about you it's like damn man i mean i can this person went through a lot of shit and they're still wake up smiling and grateful and thankful you're like an inspiration to somebody uh, that's close to you. All right. Tell me more. Hermit, Virgo energy again. I feel like you did this all by yourself. You had to do this. You had to go and say by yourself. And I, and I can't stand saying go within. That drives me nuts. It's just so cliche. But like, you, you had to sit solo. You had to sit in isolation. You had to be by yourself. And while you were doing this, it's like you were shedding light on other things. See how... See how he's holding that? It's like you just being by yourself and not even saying some shit at one point. Because like I said, we know when to be quiet and when to speak up. We're very, very clever right now. And it's just, you know, it, it drives our opponents nuts. But yeah, you just being by yourself shed light on a lot of other shit. Look what was on the bottom too. The sun card. You exposed. You're a whistleblower. People don't like whistleblowers. Well, they, okay. They don't they like it but when they're involved in in the exposure all of a sudden now you become a problem right queen of cups there may be a queen of cups that's actually watching you or you're this queen of cups and you're being watched here maybe there's a, a water sign here who's also doing the same because of you maybe there's a female if you had a problem with a female in the past because we a lot of us had some of us had a male and a female judas all right and um, you know what I just I was just thinking remember that band Judas Priest that that has a whole new meaning to me now I don't know why that just popped in my head but that's just that's just weird and dark but um, let me let me clarify this what's this Queen of Cups here hmm So I feel like there is a female that was trying to desperately to copycat you and I feel like they can't anymore there may be somebody who wants to say that they want to start over here somebody could have actually like that did what you did they could have isolated themselves they could have watched you and maybe they learned from you which is what we're supposed to do lead by example you know just like somebody was an example for me and vice versa you know just that's the way life is constantly moving constantly evolving constantly realizing everybody is needed for something there may be a, a water sign that wants to start over or make up with you and they, they want to work together with you now whether you're a masculine or a feminine i don't feel like it matters here i'll be good so somebody's like i'll be good or i won't do this i won't uh, somebody's let me see i'll be good Let me see here. Yeah. So if you're a masculine energy, I don't really think this matters, but I feel like, I also feel like you guys had to go and be by yourself and go into this hermit mode to find out just how loving and intuitive you were. 
Because I and, and I mean self love. Because we were always good at giving love to other people. The problem with us is that we didn't give it to ourselves. And then eventually the people that we're giving love to realize that we don't love ourselves. And then just by kind of default of being a human being, um, they wind up now not respecting you just like they shouldn't. Like I said before, why, why would we expect somebody else to love us more than we love ourselves? That just sounds ridiculous. Gates of hell, but I won't back down. Stand my ground. Won't be turned around. So if you are this Queen of Cups, I feel like you are like, I will not be drugged down, period. I don't care if people are working against me. You stayed in this loving energy. You don't have to be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but you could be. You stand your ground all by yourself. And because you do this, you keep getting blessed. While other people are losing, you keep gaining here. Stand my ground oh. yeah it's the truth you keep getting blessed I feel like someone sees that you're just you're blessed so, some of us are, are we came here just to be blessed <laughs> we have such good karma built up from other lifetimes a lot of us when we got here right when we first got here and we were born created and then it was like now all these other distractions came into our lives and we got ourselves in trouble. We made bad decisions. We hung out with the wrong people, but we have to take responsibility. There ain't no easy way out. Yeah, there's not, no e there's not an easy way out of the matrix. Uh, my suggestion to people who just want to disconnect is you have to give up the love for material things. You have to be authentic and speak your mind whenever, not caring what people think. And you really have to cut most of the people off in your life, you guys. It's a big change. That's why they call it a transformation, right? But it's a big change, and it's a lot. You could be dealing with an Aquarius here, or you are an Aquarius. What's up with this Aquarius, please? What's up with this Aquarius? There's an Aquarius in jail right now. There ain't no easy way out. Wow, okay. Somebody realizes that they're, they're that, that's it. They're there. They may be there for a while, you guys. Why is this Aquarius in jail here? Hmm. Tell me about this Aquarius. Why, why did that one want to come out? Yeah, there's Aquarius again. There's definitely an Aquarius in jail here. I want to know if it's a male or a female, though. Why? Won't back down. This could be someone in your family that's in jail right now, you guys. Whew. Killing me softly with his song. Killing me softly. Ooh, damn, you guys. Who killing somebody softly? Killing me softly. That couldn't be like poisoning a little bit at a time. Killing me softly, right? Wow. Telling my whole life. Yo. This could be a family member that left you out in the cold when you needed them, you guys. Who is this for you? Tell me in the comments. It's a family member or someone that you have kids with. For some of you, it's like an ex-wife or husband. But for a lot of you, uh, this is somebody in your family. And I feel like they're in jail. This could be karma uh, because of leaving you out in the cold. I feel like people don't want anything to do with this person. Yeah. I feel like when you needed something, they left you out in the cold. Maybe this person was in jail and got out actually, and now they're realizing they left you out in the cold and that's why this is happening. I don't know. There's something here with somebody wanting to offer. Why do they want what's this offer here? Maybe they wanted to offer you some kind of like financial help. Maybe you needed this. They could also be in jail for stealing money from you, you guys. Maybe that maybe this person, if this if this is person who offered you some kind of help just to steal from you. Yeah. Could be a fire sign or you're a fire sign. Clarify this King of Wands, please, first. Oh. So this could be a karmic or somebody that's just a hateful, uh, somebody who hates with a passion and shit, okay? Give me one more on this, please. Someone who's jealous of you, jealousy of your confidence, jealous of your beauty, 
jealous of the fact that uh, everything grows around you and they got weeds around them? I pray that he would finish. Some of you may have been praying that somebody was going to go to jail because they've been like stealing your money and, and it's like you guys didn't really know uh, whether you could prove it or not. You just left it up to a higher power and shit. I'm going to pull... Tell me more about this Aquarius in jail. Killing me softly. I'm like drawn to that. Lied in court. So for those of you who know that there was an Aquarius who lied in court, some of you had court dates. Lied in court, huh? They lost everything and they were on the run. I feel like if you, if there was an Aquarius in your life for some of you that you knew was on the run and they lied in court and got themselves caught up and they lost everything, I feel like this is a message for you. But don't take all this shit so personal, you guys. Test the spirit. Ask your guys to give you another confirmation. I don't want to be responsible for anybody like false hope, okay? But for some of someone here, you know what I tell the universe a lot when, when I need confirmation on some shit? I'll say, make my right ear ring, okay? Um, let me clarify this. There is an Aquarius in jail because they lied in court and they were on the run and they lost completely everything. And I feel like this has a lot to do with something that happened uh, with the way they treated you, divine beings. I just saw the Ten of Cups again. So this is somebody either you had a family with or this is a family member of yours. This could be a coven too, but yeah, they were holding, I feel like they were holding on to money that belonged to you. Wasted away again in Margaritaville. They were holding on to something that belonged to you guys. Living on sponge cake. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like they couldn't even buy food for themselves. Wasted. Yeah, there's an Aquarius again. Look, you're going to get some kind of message about an Aquarius. This is the third time the star card came out. You guys are going to get a message about an Aquarius holding on to money that belongs to you. For some of you. So for whoever needed that. Wasted. Somebody could like that song. Maybe the song is on because that's confirmation for you guys. Looking for my shaker and salt. So somebody could be a drinker. A woman to blame. So somebody was trying to blame you, Divine Feminine, for the reason they're... Hey, woman. But I was, um... So somebody knows it's their fault. I feel like somebody was trying to blame you before for why they were in the situation that they're in. But I feel like somebody knows now that they... they, they I don't feel like they're doing this. They're not blaming you anymore. I feel like somebody's finally taking accountability here. Nothing to show but this brand new tattoo. So this person could be, uh, there could be a relevant tattoo here. Yeah, somebody's thinking about you. If they're in jail, obviously they're thinking about you. They're thinking about how good you are to them. How they could trust you. How I got here, I haven't a clue. Damn. Damn. They're thinking of the sacrifices that you probably did. Or they probably are sitting there thinking about how they tried to sacrifice you. Now that doesn't mean rituals and shit. That doesn't always mean that. That just means that maybe they gave, gave personal information out for you. They did something that they, they wouldn't want done to them for money. Okay? 12 or 6 could be relevant here. Hell, it could be my fault. Somebody's actually realized, yo, would this be amazing if there was somebody who was trying to say, nope, it's not me, it's not me, it's all divine feminine, divine masculine, or whoever, actually taking accountability here? Look, holding on again. Look, holding on to a large sum of money, guys. This could be that insurance money or some kind of uh, inheritance money. You know what I heard today too? I was uh, getting up with my boyfriend before he went to work. And you know how like I'll just let the TV play and I let my intuition pick up whatever it wants to, okay? 29.29. And what the only thing that stuck out to me for five minutes and I looked my head up, he goes, that's what you call it was I finally got my inheritance. Somebody's finally getting what's rightfully deserved to them. Somebody who stole money and tried to get away with it, you guys. Tell me more. Queen of Pentacles. You could be a, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. 
if this is your Capricorn Taurus Virgo, somebody was holding on to some money that belonged to you. And if it was an Aquarius, I feel like you're about to find out information on this, okay? This could also be a grandmother spirit here with the Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups. You could be a water sign masculine too, and this Aquarius held on to money that belonged to you. Or this could be a couple that did this and held on to your shit. It's my own then fall. Why is this Queen of Pentacles and King of Cups here? Because they work together. I feel like these are the... So this Aquarius could have worked together. Because I'm, I'm picking up on three people here. Uh, there could be an Aquarius, an Earth sign, and a Water sign masculine who all work together to do this. To take your money, to hold on to money that belonged to you here. Okay. Yeah, because they were hateful and they were jealous of you and they didn't want you to get it. They thought they were going to get away with this shit, you guys. And then I feel like you started speaking about it or somebody opened their mouth about it. What I want, you got, might be hot. Yeah, you can't have it. You can't have my mother inheritance money. It's not yours, right? Yep. They didn't want to see you win. They didn't want to see you have uh, confidence and faith in yourself. I feel like you never gave up. And that's one of the big the big reasons why you yeah, truth. And that's why this truth came out is because you didn't give up. If you would have just went bye-bye, if when they sent this energy to you or what they really wanted to do to you, okay, and they would have gotten away with it, but no, you didn't give up. They had no idea who they were messing with, you guys. Whoever this is, they had no idea how strong, confident, powerful you were. They, they're, I feel like they're blown away. I honestly feel like these people could have worked together and done this to other people. Yeah. I feel like they're, they, they're seeing you. They're watching tarot readings, I feel like. Or if you're a tarot reader, they're watching you with, with jealousy and envy, though. Somebody had no idea that this shit was going to get exposed. Yeah. And that's causing tower moments here. Scorpio energy. Because they know that you know. Somebody's in complete shock, you guys. You make my dream. Your dreams are about to become true. Pisces energy. Cancer Pisces energy. I feel like there could be a Scorpio and a Pisces watching tower readings. And But if that's not it, generally speaking, I feel like somebody is like... Uh, This shit's getting exposed, you guys, through tarot. Listen to this. Why does this stick out? Yeah, maybe you're a Taurus doing it, okay? There's three ta uh, three towers. Damn, I just said that. There could have been three tower moments. But there's tower, the moon, and the hierophant. That's three major arcanas in a row here. And then you got this on the bottom. They had no idea that God was going to uh, heal you, okay? You got a lot of spiritual protection here. They were trying to send some darkness to you the whole time, right? Hoping that this was going to be your life, only for this to be their life now. You're like, bitch, I keep telling you, don't we? I keep telling you that, like, when you got a real relationship with God, you overcome anything. There's nothing anybody can do to you. You're always going to come, even when I didn't even realize the relationship that I had with God, which was my higher self, okay? I didn't even realize it because I, I didn't really, 3333 three, three, three it was, I didn't really have that much respect for myself like I should have. Once you do, your whole life changes. It's going to be very uh, obvious who was really rolling with a higher power. It doesn't matter what you call it. It doesn't matter. There's a higher power. You can call it Ra, Source, Creator, God, the Universe. It doesn't matter. You just know that there's a higher force. We don't get into talking about how that's not it. And, this, and if that's cool, then that's what you that's if that's what you dig. Cool. But there's just a higher power that is handling everything. That's in charge. Period. It doesn't matter if you call it Joe. Okay. It's, that's irrelevant because if you want to get technical I was like weird about saying God because backwards is dog you know so it's like I, I could he, some people say that they don't use the word God because of that reason that's cool that's someone's prerogative no judgment here and there shouldn't be any judgment on anybody else's end either okay I just heard lottery tickets you guys 3434 somebody buy lottery tickets today I just heard that at 3434 I should buy lottery tickets today is what he just said Hell yeah, I have to. Guys, buy lottery tickets. Wow. 
Every step you take. This is like from God, I feel like. This is from the creator of the song. I'll be watching you. Every breath you take. They can't nobody touch you, divine feminine, divine masculine. It's impossible. Every bond you break, I'll be watching you. Every time somebody breaks your heart, every time they betray you, I'll be watching you. Every word you say. Rebisol? Rebisol? That's amazing. God's like, it don't matter what you call me. You know who I am. It's a personal. You hear it? 35, 35. It's a personal relationship. So if I have a personal relationship with my boyfriend and we have nicknames for each other, your nickname to yours is not going to be the same as my nickname, but it's a personal relationship. I'm tired of explaining this God shit. I really am. I feel like God's tired of it too, to tell you the truth. Beware of excluding emotions for the pursuit of logic or genius. Take care not to invest so much in learning as to become cruel and unfeeling. Know-it-alls. People who know it all. Be careful of being a know-it-all, you guys. I'm speaking to myself, too. Clarify this, please. <sighs> Somebody who plays Wounded Warrior all the time. You know, like, maybe you need to, uh, you have your guard up a lot. Maybe, maybe this is like a... This, to me, is like putting a guard up so bad to even intake more more knowledge it's like i know what i know and i'm not letting anybody else tell me anything i think we all just need to be a little more open to uh other perspectives uh other people's experiences tell me more about this yeah i mean enlighten ourselves allow ourselves to be enlightened by other things because some some people and i was like this too and i still could be like this for all i know uh it's like i know what i know don't tell me anything uh, my way is what it is. You could be dealing with an Aquarius though like this. Uh, a limited belief system is what I'm picking up on here. Or, or somebody who doesn't allow themselves to ever be the student. They always want to be the teacher. Okay? Yeah. It's like take a leap of faith. You could be dealing with an Aries here or a Pisces. But it's like take a leap of faith. Allow yourself to take in more knowledge allow yourself to say well maybe that's another perspective or point of view and i respect that you know maybe like i just allow it to sink in naturally okay 37 37 yeah and do it with love okay maybe this isn't someone that you're a relationship with somebody needs to some of you are going to be taking a leap of faith and buying a home and i feel like maybe the universe god whatever you want whatever you want to call it um is saying just do it you know, just do it. And well, if you knew that you were going to be supported, like where would you want to move? This could be a relationship. It could be a home, but it could be somebody that you were in a relationship with that is just like a know-it-all. Okay. I feel like somebody drinks a lot and they're a know-it-all and they're that person where it's like, no, 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 no. What I, I'm telling you, right? Like one of those that we love to be around. I feel like from here on out, when it comes to relationships at all with the Ace of Cups and, and, and the Six of Cups, you just want equal give and take and you won't have anything else. And so it's like, I, I listen to your perspective and you listen to mine, 3838. 38, and this is how you're going forward. Maybe in your relationship right now, one of you is just kind of more like, well, no, 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 it's this and it's not that. I actually am like that sometimes. So I feel like this is also speaking to me because I am like that. I, I take over, I take charge of a lot of situations, okay? So I don't know who else is like that. We're all like this. So for, we all are works in progress. I'm the furthest thing from perfect and I'm so glad. Be kindful and full of love, but maintain boundaries. So we still need to maintain boundaries with somebody here. This could just be in general. This could be boundaries with stuff that you guys are watching. I had a dream, there was a reader in my dream She's a Pisces. She was in my dream last night. I'm not sure because I can't really remember it. But I'm not sure if it was a good thing or if it was a warning from my guides. I'm really not sure. I, maybe I should ask on camera. Right? Hold on. <laughs> the reader that you guys showed me in my dream last night. Was it a warning? Was it good? Or is, was it bad? Oh, shit. They're jealous. I knew it. I knew it. Because somebody shared one of my videos. 
uh, but it wasn't because they were trying to help me out, but they did because that's just kind of how energy works. Is somebody will share a video maybe saying something about you and then people watch your video and they can smell the authenticity. Uh, that that's just you know when you're authentic nothing can go wrong for you and people will just fall by the wayside around you because you'll be one of the last ones standing and that's that and I'm not I'm not forcing anything I'm just allowing myself to be myself and this is how I've been my whole life and this is why I'm still standing and a lot of people who tried to come up against me aren't but yeah thank you spirit guides for telling me that this this female okay is jealous and competitive stop it stop it we're not to, so if someone wants to believe that Yo, I got this message last week. Are you fucking that really? Are you really that stupid, 4040, that you think you're the only person getting one message? Just think of how fucking narrow minded that is. Is to sit there and think that if somebody else. So let me get to. I don't have the same dream about some shit. You're the only one that can talk about a certain subject. Grow the fuck up. Some of these freaking people on here need to grow up. It's very childish. And a lot of these people have kids or kids around them. And it's like, what, what are you doing? That'd be like someone saying. I'm the only one who actually said uh, that, that there was going to be a bomb going off. Do you know how big this fucking world is? This ain't for you then if you're like that. You know, I had people telling me in my comments before that so-and-so, this person had the same thing that you said. I looked at it and I let it go. You know why? Because we're all on this fucking planet together, dingbats. There's not supposed to be competition, right? We're doing this, why? When you're genuinely doing this uh, for truth, motherfuckers, right? Like you guys say, truth and healing. Bitch, there is none of this. That's how people are going to know. And you're going to lose subscribers and you're going to lose views because people are going to see, right, who's fucking genuine. And I'm not even saying it's this. I'm not. But I'm just saying that's not who I was talking about either. But it's like people are going to see who the real ones, who the real the real, true, divine feminine, divine masculines are. We don't have to force it. We don't have to point other people out. We don't have to attack or make someone a target, okay? There ain't no targets here. You understand? When you're genuinely doing what you're doing for the greater good, it shows. So enough of that, all right? Enough of that. We're done with that. Because you start doing that with me, your channel will start, will, will start failing. I promise you this. It's happened before. It doesn't matter how long I've been here, how long I've been on YouTube. I've been on this planet for, for, for 47 years. I know it doesn't look like it, right? Don't, don't mistake in my kindness for weakness and don't mistake this young face and thinking that I'm young and naive. I'm going to be 48 years old, okay? I got a 31-year-old son. Yeah, they're pissed off because I'm happy that I'm content that this shit is like, it, it doesn't fade me, okay? We're, not, we're supposed to be doing this for contentment, not money and not views and not likes. I genuinely want to heal people, right? That's, that, that's, I'm genuine like that. Look, I'm genuine like that and I'm a Taurus. Somebody's pissed off. Stop it. This, this jealousy and envy and people hiding behind love and light. I can see right through you motherfuckers. I can, I can see right through you. And so can everybody else who's, who, who's worth this shit. But you don't like the transformation, right? You don't like the constant transformation. Oh, well. All right. We're getting off that. I just wanted that answer. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, for that very clear answer. Okay? And I'm not mess, uh, mentioning names. I'm not petty like that. I'm, I'm a woman, damn it. But be careful who you're coming for. I told you guys, and I'm not threatening lies, but I mean, I never thought that four dudes would be dead. Okay? In two years. Because they came for me. Okay? Never thought it. Maybe some of us have higher ranking than others think they do. I don't really know. It's not for me to say. I can just speak from experience. And there's four dudes who were dead in the ground. Okay? Who we got to put boundaries up with, huh? Who do we got to put boundaries up with, please? Who do we got to put boundaries up with, please? What was this? In a relationship, you guys, I feel like there needs to be boundaries. Be kind-hearted, but maintain boundaries. This could be you or the person in your relationship that's being asked to do this with you. Yeah, your divine masculine, I feel like, is being told to put boundaries up. This could even be at work. This could, this could be with friends at work, or it could be with you. Yeah. Maybe if you guys are with a toxic masculine or whatever, or maybe you're putting boundaries up for how if you're in a relationship or a marriage and you guys are separated and this is your husband, 
Maybe you're putting boundaries up when it comes to the kids. Maybe that's what you're being told here is put boundaries up. Uh, or this could just be childish energy here, but I feel like maybe with offering, if maybe if you're over loving. So I do feel like if this is your husband, you guys, and this person backstabbed and betrayed you, I feel like maybe that you're being told, like, put boundaries up, or, or you know that this person, um, you already put an end to this. I feel like if you guys are still trying to go back and forth, or maybe you don't want to get divorced, maybe you need to put boundaries up for a masculine energy that wants to come back and offer you an apology that already, it could be a water sign or an Aries, but it doesn't have to be. Somebody wants to come back now and show love when they already did this. So there's a masculine energy that you guys were married to in a relationship with or some kind of partnership here that now wants to apologize. There could be another person here that knows that you were backstabbed and betrayed by a dude. It could be a friend of theirs and they may have had something to do with helping them. They want to come back and apologize because now that they know that you were betrayed by this person, you put it how it fits. All right. I'm going to cut it there, you guys. I will be back, though, because I'm not going nowhere. I love you. So I'm going to post that playlist in the comments, you guys. Bye.